we're getting some heavy rainfall. So if you're driving on the thruway, uh, the Hutchinson River Parkway, or even you know, towards 95 heading into Connecticut, be aware that it will be a little bit dicey on some of the roadways. In and around New York City and Manhattan, the skies have now darkened. We're getting rain into the area. And again, this is moving eastward here, heading for the area airports as well, where we are also seeing some significant delays. They've had a ground stop, I believe, at some of the airports. And so that is going to provide some significant delays on arrivals and departures for the next several hours. Right now, we have temperature readings in the 50s across the area, although we're in the upper 40s out towards Montauk. Significantly colder air is behind the system, and it's reading in the 30s across Buffalo and in Pittsburgh. We're at 46 in Williamsport, 28 in Detroit, and that cold air will be rushing in here, and you'll feel the difference tomorrow. The taste of spring we had across the area recently will be coming to an end as we go into the second half of our weekend. Here's a wider look at the line here. You can see it extends from Albany all the way down towards uh, the tip of uh, uh, New Jersey and behind it because of the colder temperatures they are experiencing some snow across western New York but we're not going to be getting into that I believe everything will be exiting before uh, the snow mooches our area or at least the temperatures drop cold enough for snow. So everything's out of here by tomorrow morning. We're going to wake up with mostly sunny skies, but it will be cold out there, so you want to be bundled up. And we'll have plenty of sunshine through the end of the day, but with temperatures uh, more seasonable, it will feel dramatically different from what we've been experiencing over the last couple of days. Clouds back roll back into the picture on Monday. They're coming in ahead of our next rainmaker that gets here for Tuesday, and it looks like we're going to have a wet middle part of the week. Tonight's lows will mostly be in the 30s across the area, and then tomorrow the cold air uh, moves all across the northern tier of the nation, whereas before before we were in the warm spell here across the East Coast. That's coming to an end tomorrow. 46 tomorrow, 53 on Monday with breezy conditions. Rain arrives on Tuesday. We'll have steady rainfall on Wednesday. I think that'll be the wettest day of the week. On Thursday, we'll have a few.